Good evening. This is evening prayer using the 1928 Book of Common Prayer in the Anglican tradition. Today is the fifth Sunday in Lent, in Lent, commonly called Passion Sunday. We will begin in just a moment. Good evening to those who are joining in. Let us begin. The Lord be with you. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. To the Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws which he set before us. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God, praying together the general confession. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Praying together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm readings for this evening are from the first set of propers. Psalm 42 in Psalm 43. 
Psalm 42. Like as a heart desireth the water brooks, so longeth my soul after thee, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, yea, even for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my meat day and night, while they daily say unto me, Where is now thy God? Now when I think thereupon, I pour out my heart by myself. For I went with the multitude, and brought them forth into the house of God. In the voice of praise and thanksgiving, among such as keep holy day. Why art thou so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet thank him, which is a help of my countenance and my God. My soul is vexed within me. Therefore will I remember thee from the land of Jordan, from Hermon and the little hill. One deep calleth another, because of the noise of thy water floods. All thy waves and storms are gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night season will I sing of him, and make my prayer unto the God of my life. I will say unto the God of my strength, Why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I thus heavily, while the enemy oppresseth me? My bones are smitten asunder as with a sword, while mine enemies that trouble me cast me in the teeth. Namely, while they say daily unto me, Where is now thy God? Why art thou so vexed, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet thank him, which is a help of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43 Give sentence with me, O God, and defend my cause against the ungodly people. O deliver me from the deceitful and wicked man. For thou art the God of my strength. Why hast thou put me from thee? And why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresseth me? O send out thy light and thy truth, that they may lead me, and bring me unto thy holy hill, and to thy dwelling. And that I may go unto the altar of God, even unto the God of my joy and gladness. And upon the harp will I give thanks unto thee, O God, my God. Why art thou so heavy, O my soul? And why art thou so disquieted within me? O put thy trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, which is a help of my countenance and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson from the first propers is from the sixth chapter of Hosea, beginning in verse 1. Come, and let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us, and the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. Then shall we know, if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared at the morning, and he shall come unto us as the rain, as a latter and former rain unto the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do unto thee? O Judah, what shall I do unto thee? For your goodness is as a morning cloud, and as early do what goeth away. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And thy judgments are as the light that goeth forth. For I desired mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Here ends the first lesson. Thanks be to God. Saying together the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, 
Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson from the first set of propers is from the tenth chapter of Hebrews, beginning in verse 1. For the law, having a shadow of good things to come, and not the very image of the things, can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers thereunto perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered, because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings, and offering for sin thou wouldest not. Neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. When he said, Sacrifice and burnt offerings and offerings of sin. I'm sorry. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second, by which we, will, we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sin. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, this is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with the true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as a manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Here ends the second lesson. Thanks be to God. Saying together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now let us renew our faith together by stating the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. 
And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for the Day, and the Fifth Sunday in Lent. We beseech thee, Almighty God, mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hatest nothing that thou hast made, and dost forgive the sins of all those who are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of thee the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for the President of the United States and all in civil authority. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land. And so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, the governors of these states, and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory, and that we and all the people duly considering whose authority they bear, may faithfully and obediently honor them, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. A prayer for our bishop. O God, the pastor and ruler of thy faithful servants, look down in thy mercy upon thy servant Leo Michael, our bishop, to whom thou hast given charge over this diocese. Evermore guide, defend, comfort, and save him, and grant that he, with the flock committed to his charge, may attain everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for all the clergy. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon all bishops, priests, and deacons, and upon the congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, that they may truly please thee, and pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer during time of great sickness and mortality. O most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee unto thee for succor. Deliver us, we beseech thee, from our peril, 
give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure, and grant that, perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leadeth to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for all conditions of mankind. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth, and hold the faith and unity of spirit, and the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed, in mind, body, or estate. And we lift up especially those who are suffering from this virus. We pray for speedy healing. We pray for a cure. And we pray for an end of this plague upon the world. I pray for all Christians around the world who are suffering persecution that you will grant them relief and that your church would perish, I mean would preserve, that your church would preserve throughout all generations. And we pray for all the hurting and suffering. We pray for our neighbors, our families, our friends, that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities. Give them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Praying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we shall forth thy praise not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come, Life everlasting. Amen. Praying together the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought into the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 
And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. I thank you all who have joined in, and I will continue to do this nightly, uh, especially during this time where many churches are closed. So 7 p.m. Central, uh, please join with us for evening prayer. And I pray the Lord's blessings. I pray health and safety be upon each and every one of you. Good night and God bless you.